Hey hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunny Savita, and in this video, we're gonna create one more application by using this multi-model rag concept. So here, guys, I will show you the multi-model app using this Google Jimly. I have created one playlist on top of this multi-model rag. And there actually I have implemented various architecture, different, different architecture. I will give you the recap of those, all those architecture, whatever architecture we have implemented throughout our journey on, uh, for this uh, multi-model rag. Now guys, I was getting many requests. So uh, sir, can you showcase the, any one application by using any open source model or by using any free API, right? So here guys, I came up with this Google Jimny API. So here we are going to be create an application by using this Google Jimny so that you will be having a flavor of all a different, different models. And here I'm going to be implement completely different architecture from my previous video. So in my previous video, I implemented two architecture, one using Llama index and second using this uh, Langchain. And in both architecture, actually, I have used the GPT-4B. Now here, the architecture is going to be different and even the model also. So first of all, guys, uh, let me show you my YouTube channel where you will find out all those videos. So here, uh, once you will search about Sunny Savita, guys, here you will find out 30 videos on my YouTube channel. I'm uploading slowly and gradually. I'm trying to upload the video. I'm not uh, in a hurry. I just want to give you the refined content. That's why I'm taking some time and I'm giving you the precise uh, and the sequence content so that it can add some value in your learning in your life because we know this is the era, this is the time of the AI and we have to be learn the AI whether we are software engineer, data a scientist or machine learning, engine, machine learning engineer, whatever guys, we should be familiar with this generative AI thing. Because in every industry it is being used, this rag and fine tuning, it's pretty amazing thing which we can use, right, for any sort of a project and that's why it is getting too much popularity and you will find out lots of variants, lots of implemented implementation of it. So here I have, I took the initiative to teach you this particular thing in a specific way, in a specific manner. So definitely you can reach out to the channel if you want to learn these things. Now guys, first of all, let me do one thing here. Let me give you the idea of, or let me uh, explain the previous architecture, this previous application, which uh, I already recorded. So here is guys, here is the uh, complete architecture. I think you can see. So I created around three architecture and this third one, basically I'm going to be implementing today's session. Now, first of all, let me explain you this very first architecture and then I will come to the second and the third. And then finally we'll go for the code implementing. Okay. So let's begin. First of all, let me hide to me because I think I am. Uh, this architecture is not visible to you. Uh, now uh, you can hear my voice, but not uh, you cannot see me. So fine, guys. So here, guys, in the very first architecture, what we did. So let me explain you. So in the very first architecture, we were having the video, and here uh, now. So we were from the video actually. We were uh, extracting the images. We are extracting the audio and a metadata. Metadata means what? So the title of the video or uh, you can uh, talk about the views, number of views, number of likes, okay, who is the owner of the video. So that is called the metadata. Now what we did, so here, what we did, so uh, we have uh, like collected the text, okay, uh, this uh, text actually we have collected from the audio and uh, here we have collected the image, right? So image is there and text is there. Then what we did, we created the embedding regarding this text and this image, right? And here we have stored inside this lens TV multi vector store. What we have stored guys, tell me. So here we have stored this images, right? So here you can see this images and this tag we have stored after the embedding, what we did. So we have stored inside this multi vector store. Getting my point, I hope, yes. So this was the ingestion part. Now what uh, we have done, we had done, right? So here, let's say this is my, this is what, this is my user. Okay, user is asking some query over here. So here what I'm doing, so here I'm performing this similarity search, right? Now based on the similarity search, I'm getting the rank result. What I'm getting guys, I'm getting the rank result. So here I'm getting relevant images and text. Yes guys, so here I'm getting original images and text. And these images and this text, relevant images and relevant text, I'm passing. So along with the prompt, I'm passing to my GPT-4B model, right, prompt plus text, plus images, and then finally we are generating the result. Getting my point guys, yes or no. 
so here guys see again i can repeat image text then we are doing an embedding of it okay by using this click model uh and uh, this is a multi model and then uh what we are going to do here we are going to be store it and along with our embedding we have a data image data and the text data and finally we are getting the raw result this images and text and that we are passing to this gpt model and finally we are generating the answer so this was the first architecture which i have implemented and if you want to check guys so where you will find out the code so simply i have updated the code on my github so let me show you that so once you will reach out to me uh, reach out to my repository in depth generative ai so there itself actually you will find out the code so let me show you that particular code and here you can see this code uh, multimodal rack with llama index and lens db for the video processing this one guys so you can check it and you can implement it now the second one is what so here if you will look into the uh, okay if you will look into the architecture so in the second architecture what we have done so let me explain you that so here guys i can show you the second one so in the second architecture we are having the pdf so from this particular pdf we were extracting the data so we are extracting the text here we are extracting the images okay and then uh we were extracting the tables right then what we were doing guys so we were creating the summary over here right summary of this images or, or of this text and this table right so here actually for creating a summary now see here simply we are using this uh, gpt model gpt 3.5 gpt 3.5 but here here guys uh with respect to this images we were using this gpt 4b okay gpt 4b model now here see what we are doing we are creating a summary then from the summary actually we are creating the embedding okay we are creating the embedding so let me write over here embedding and after creating the embedding guys what we are doing so here also i have a embedding now after creating the embedding summary okay embedding of the summary we are storing inside the database so this is what this is my database now here actually i was using the in memory chroma database okay so in memory store so here i was using in memory in memory chroma database okay chroma database now guys here so how, what we were storing so we are storing two things so i can divide into two parts this thing so the first thing which we are storing over here that was the embedding so let me write over here embedding okay embedding and the second thing the second thing which we are is we were uh like which we are storing over here that was the tell me that was the document okay so the raw document so raw images raw images then raw table raw table and raw text right this one text chunk okay raw text then uh what was what was happening over here see whenever user is asking something whenever you user is asking any sort of a query so here guys see whenever user asking any sort of a query so it's are uh, coming over here and then it is performing a similar t search based on this embedding right and then relevant to that okay relevant to this one it it was uh like uh, it it was giving to me this images tables okay images tables and here guys images tables and this text right now this image table text whatever we want to extract from here so guys text and this table is uh, both are fine okay so text and table actually it will be in the text format itself but here the images will be in a either gpg format or it will be in the vs4 format okay base 64 so base 64 let me write over here base 64 format now this thing okay all together this thing i was passing so here this is my data which i'm getting from the retriever and here is what here is my from and this thing i'm passing to the model so here also i was using this gpt 4b gpt 4b and then finally we were generating the answer okay so this was my second architecture which we have implemented now guys this architecture is very much necessary if we have a data uh, we are actually in the similar uh, document we have a text images table so definitely we can deal with it and we can query with respect to that particular data now here this architecture is very much important so if you want to process the video or uh, let's say any image file audio file all together right image or text all together you can use this particular architecture now if you want to get the uh now if you want to get the code related to this particular architecture so already i have given you inside my inside my github so once you will check with this particular file so here actually you will be able to find out the code with respect to this a uh, particular architecture now i hope guys this thing is clear to all of you now coming to the next part over here where we are going to be implement our third architecture right so first of all guys let me open my camera over here and let me tell you something so let's see uh, inside the third uh, third architecture what we are going to do so here instead of passing this image instead of passing this query okay text query we are going to pass the image query yes right 
what we are going to do we are going to pass the image query so so far we are passing the text query now but how we can process this image query we need to understand that part so we are going to pass the image query now here i would be having my simple text so whatever text guys let's say here is my text uh the text basically let's say i have collected from the pdf file i have collected from the text file or i collected from any other file x y z whatever so from this text actually what i will do i will do the chunking so simply i will make a chunking over here right chunking now here guys i after making a chunking what i will do i will be doing the embedding over here right embedding and after the embedding guys so here let me write the embedding i hope you are able to get it then uh here after the embedding what i will do i'll be storing inside the vector database so here i'm storing my embedding inside this vector database so in my case let's say i'm using this files okay files now here guys see uh, i'm passing the image so here image is nothing image is my input along with the image i'll be passing my text also query okay query and i what i'm passing i'm passing the image so this thing is possible with respect to the multi modeling multi model that is what that's a gpt provision and that is what that's a gpt 4b right so here this thing actually this thing it is possible so ah, sorry i haven't uh, opened my camera now i think i switched on right so here guys this thing is possible so we can pass query and we can pass image both whereby guys tell me so here we can pass both inside the jimny provision or in gpt 4b so here we are passing the query and image so based on the query we are doing a similarity search and we are fetching a relevant question just just focus over here we are passing the relevant uh, we are passing the query and we are passing we are getting the we are getting the ranked result okay what we are getting we are getting the ranked result now here guys i will be getting the ranked result that's a top three result i got right here uh whatever and then right then guys what we are doing so here in the prompt now see we have a prompt okay we have a prompt uh plus prompt we have this context okay we have this context i hope it is uh, i think it is not visible this so we have a prompt then we have a context and plus we have the image getting my point guys so prompt whatever thing we want to be extract then context and that then this image now we are passing query and image both but here here guys see here this relevant search okay the rank result which i am getting the similarity search which i am doing i am doing based on the query but inside the prompt okay inside the prompt i am passing prompt plus context plus image so here let's say my model is what my model is a jimmy right jimmy provision now to this particular model what i am doing i am passing the uh, prompt context okay uh, means the context will be inside the prompt only and then final image and then only we are going to generate the answer i hope you are getting this thing right see again i am repeating so here i i am having a single simple text over here simple text right chunk 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 embedding and we are going to be stored over here but whenever we are asking the query along with the images so this query is going to be relevant to the image right and then we are getting a rank result and then we are passing along with a prompt and this relevant result and plus image and finally we are generating the answer i hope this thing is clear to all of you now guys one more thing over here i would like to tell you so where this type of architecture is important so let's say here uh, uh, in the education domain i can give you one example so here let's say in the education in the education domain right okay? so in the education domain uh, what i want to do i want to based on the image of the student so based on the image of the student i want to get the i want to get the information of the student let's say here is my image and based on my image teacher want to get my information or not even the education domain any domain right so what i will do so here with respect to the student what i am going to do i am going to manage one database with the information right with the student information i am passing the image i am passing the image of the student and here is what here is a database which is maintaining the information of the student so whatever query i am firing from here so i am firing the query here is an image can you give me a detail of this image and this image actually so it is belong to this 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 student you can write the name of that those that is student so it will fetch all the information related to that student from the database and it's going to pass the image okay it's going to pass the image it's going to pass pass that uh, pass that detail along with the prompt and you will be get the answer that is my point so wherever guys wherever we have this type of example anywhere you can use these type of architecture i hope it is visible and you are able to get it now let's try to implement how we can do it guys so here this architecture we are going to be implement over here so let me write a uh, multi model rag 
so let me take the heading over here so here guys i already kept the heading inside my notepad so let me copy and paste uh but in order with jimny and google ai studio and this is going to my course youtube right now what i will do guys so step by step one by one i'm going to write the code so first guys i required few libraries over here so let me give you the libraries so these are the library guys now uh, first of all before uh installing the library let me connect with the runtime so here i'm changing the runtime to the t4 gpu and then save it guys here you need to connect it so it's getting connected guys until what i can do uh if the data is required i can upload the data or later on i can do it's not a big deal so let it uh install so first of all it's going to be connect and then basically uh after that i will have to install it okay fine so now it is done let me install it guys so here guys you can see i have installed the library now what i will do after installing the library here i'm going to write a couple of statement so the first one is going to be few import statement which is required for this particular implementation uh so the very first import statement is going to be os request and image i will let you know why i'm using it now apart from this one we have few other statements so let me copy and paste those as well so next one is going to be matplotlib and then matplotlib image and then finally display and markdown from ipython now what i can do here i can run it and yes it is fine now the next one is going to be a few statement from where from the langchain itself so this is the statement right this is the module let me keep it inside the separate cell so this statement chat google generative ai it's for the uh, google right so they have created a new module and which is available inside the langchain itself so here uh, one of the way for passing the prompt to the model so human message and system message i can keep this as well now here doc array in memory search so yes this is very important if you want to search the embedding or not now apart from this one you'll find out this uh, embedding if embedding is required definitely uh, we can utilize this google embedding now output parser and chain uh, this uh, prompt template right so this two was this two is also there i just need to explain you that's why i kept it inside the different different lines okay different different code shell now what i have to do so here few more thing is required so first of all guys we required the text loader because we have to load the text okay so text loader is required then we have to split this particular text means we have to pre-process it so this splitter is required so let me import this splitter over here now the next one is what next one is this database files facebook ai search okay similar to search this database is required and guys in future actually i'm coming here with many more solution with mongodb astra db or uh, with quadrant or vector flow there are so many databases you will find out with respect to this vector database and all those solutions you will find out on my youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed so far guys please do it because this type of content take too much effort but yeah so one more thing i would like to say and sometimes we try to find out the code and all so definitely you can check out with the cookbook cookbook of the length chain llama index and all so you will get the many more detail okay related to your problem statement because they have already created and generally i take the references from there itself right whenever i have to implement any sort of a architect okay because i'm not a researcher of the lang chain or the llama index right uh i have to like uh, implement my project and for that actually i have to collect the information from the various uh, framework and all so definitely i can take a help from there itself now next thing is what guys so here i required the google api key which i already kept inside my which i already kept here inside my collab now again i'm not going to show you how to load it because in my all the tutorial i already showed you so let me copy and paste the code and here i am going to write it down now guys the next method which is required over here that's going to be load model so here what i want to do i want to load the model and here i want to give the name okay name of the model so here is what here is the name of the model now what i will do so here only i will be loading the model now for that i have written this particular condition so if model name is jimny pro i'm going to load this one otherwise i'm going to load this jimny pro vision and then we are going to be written it now i can test this model whether it is working fine or not so for testing this model what i have to do first of all i have to call this uh first of all i have to call this a particular method now here what i'm doing i'm passing the model name which model i want to import so here simply i'm uh, passing jimny uh hyphen pro right and i'm keeping inside my variable so model for what for the text data simple right 
So this is what this is my simple model. Now what I will do so here I can ask anything to my model because it's a large language model. So let me ask something. So simply I can call invoke method on top of it. So here I can call the invoke method on top of it and let's ask something something creative. So here uh, guys I was I, I was just asking this uh, like funny funny questions and all. So let me paste it over here. So this was a question. So here I'm asking answer with simple yes or no question is an apple of fruit, right? So uh okay, so here what I can do. Uh just wait guys. This was the different question for the vision actually. Let me keep the different over here. So this is the question. Please come up with the worst pickup line ever. Let's see what it's going to be. So here if I mean to ask first pickup line, so it is generating an error. Now it is saying uh safety concern. So saying safety concern, it is not okay. Stop any like this. Okay, please come up with the best pickup line. Let's say here I'm going to change the word best pickup line. Let's see what I will be getting over here. Uh okay. Let's say please come up with the best funny line. Okay, funny line. Don't know why it is generating like this. It is not going to be a uh, best funny line, and guys, now it is going to be generated. So here I'm. Uh, you can see now, guys. See it. We were violating this, uh, uh, like the guidelines of the model, and it was not giving the output. Okay, it's pretty surprising. Now here I can write this content, and let's see, guys, what I will be getting over here. So this is the funny line like this you can check so here my model is working fine now let's check with the vision model as well whether it is working fine or not now yes guys we have one more way to pass the input to this particular model let me show you how you so here guys this is the way let me show you this one so uh we can call this human message okay human message i think we have imported that human message now you can i can show you this human message where it is there so this is the human message so i can pass this human message and said that i can pa directly pass the question right so if i'm going to pass the question uh so here if i'm going to pass the question guys let's say my model name is what my model name is the text so model underscore text now simply if i'm going to be executed so i'll be getting my answer now here you can see yes or no whatever it's going to be provide see here is a yes right now i hope this thing is clear to all of you so if you want to pass in this way in this manner definitely you can do that we have both way invoke and this one human message also okay inside the model text only you can do that now we want to check the next model that is what that's my vision model so for checking the vision model guys here i required the image so here i took this particular image from where guys from the internet now uh first of all let me define the metal model for uh, sorry method for loading the image uh how the image looks like i simply can check it now uh here i'm going to be create a method cat image now by using this particular method actually i can simply check so here i required the url i need to pass the url i need to pass the file name and here i need to pass the extension extension okay extension of the image right now this is the thing basically which is required now let me give you the code okay so here is what here is my code so i am get i am writing this particular code and let me uh, paste the url okay let me call this method so here the method is going to be this one so first of all guys uh this is going to be method and first of all let me show you the link so here is the link guys if you will click over here you will find out the image right so this is the image of the shoe right which is a nike which is belong to the nike now if i'm going to run it so here you'll be able to get the image now let me show you the image how it looks like so simply i can show you this plt i am show I am show and here is what here is my image and uh, then what I will do so simply I will call it and let me write over here plt dot show okay so guys see it is working now so I hope it is visible to all of you this image will be visible in some second now uh, see guys this is what this is my image so I hope this part is clear now I'm passing this image to my model and let's see what I will be getting as a return, right? What I will be getting as a result. Now, uh, how I can pass it? So it is very, very easy. I can simply call this model. Which model, guys? Jimmy Provision. So load model. Here is what. Here is my load model. And simply I can pass this Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Pro and Vision Pro iPhone. 
type one design so this is going to be my model now what i will do here so here actually i'm going to be select the model okay now uh, sorry this is what this is my uh, model vision model now i'm going to be call it so first of all let me create the message human message which i want to pass to this uh, particular vision okay vision model so here uh simply i can invoke it invoke with what so invoke with a message now how i can prepare the message for this particular model so here is a way i can prepare the message so simply i can call the simply i can call this human message and here is what here is my prompt okay if i want to pass the prompt i can do that otherwise i can remove it so let me remove it and without the prompt uh, directly i have to pass this particular message right so let me take a message and see guys i've shown you two way first directly i can call the invoke second directly i can call the human message right here i show you know this one this one and uh like in the third way what we can do we can define the human message and we can pass to the invoke method this is also possible so now what i'm doing here so i'm passing inside this list so if i'm passing the human message what i will be getting i'll be getting a detail of the model so here it is saying message is not defined not an issue i can do that and finally i will get my answer let's see what i will be getting over here so this is the detail guys now let's try to collect the details so here is what content and see guys what i'm getting over here i am getting the details of the image so this is what this is image to text now i can write the print statement over here and here after writing the print statement i'll be getting my final output so here you can see uh here is what here is my print statement guys and this is the final output which i am getting with the shoe it's a low stop sneaker with a white leather upper and gray leather shows the outsole sole of the output outsole is a made of rubber now if i want to define any sort of a text over here i can do it so let me take a text and let me paste it over here so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to take a paste a text now uh here simply i can define the prompt so prompt my prompt is going to be something like this my prompt is uh give me summary of this image in five words okay something like this whatever i want to do i can do that here it's the llm model it understands everything now prompt and here this is what this is my message and here is what here is my printed statement so i will be getting the summary within five words so it's a gray and white nike duo dunk low okay i hope you are getting it guys now if i want to what i want to do guys tell me according to my uh according to my architecture if i want to augment this response right this response based on my database so for that what i'm going to do here i'm going to build my practice right because this message i'm getting directly from my model based on this particular text but this text is not having the context so if you want to add the context i will have to use the rack system so let's try to create a rack system guys let's build our rack system now now just tell me guys if i want to build a rack system the first thing very first thing which i require that is a data so here what i'm going to do now i'm going to be upload the data right so let me do it let me take the data which i collected from the google itself that uh, data is related to the nike shoe only so here i collected the data inside what inside the txt document okay this one a simple data guys here you can see nothing is there so it is a, a detail of the nike shoe right so it is nothing it's a detail of the nike shoe. see guys this one so now based on this a particular detail i'm going to be augment the response of the image okay let's see how we can do that so first of all guys what i'm going to do here i'm going to be load this file and for that i'm going to use the lang chain so here is what guys here is my lang chain and uh, let me keep it over here this code and definitely we are able to load the data so this is the information of this uh, sneaker here is the information of this dunk low retro sneaker which we are seeing and here is the information of this nike slide and sandal uh, what i have to do here guys see uh i want to create a rack system for that uh we required the embedding so let's try to do the embedding how we can do that so first of all i'm going to be chunk my data again this code is same this process is same i'm not going to be repeated again and again in my previous session i did it so here is what guys this code actually it will uh create the chunk okay chunk size is going to be 20 tokens and then it will return the dog okay so whatever data we uh, i have 
it's going to be divided into chunks okay in one chunk we'll be having a 20 tokens and here is the overlap value also just to sustain the information okay from the next chunk to the previous chunk right i will talk about this chunk size and all i think i already did previous uh, you can check the previous project in the video now let me do it over here let me create the chunks so let me pass the data so here is what guys i will be getting my chunks inside this dom so first of all let me run it okay i think i haven't defined the data guys just wait let me define this data variable so how we can define this data variable guys so here is what here is my data variable that's nothing that's a text and this method is fine this is clear now see here i able to do it now i'm going to be stored inside the files so first of all let me create the embedding so this is the model for the embedding now here is what here's my embedding model and finally i am going to be store it inside the vector db that is what that's the files in memory database got it now guys from here itself the thing is going to be start right so here uh, actually what i can do i can uh, if i want to use this vector store as a retriever i can simply uh, call it so let me write over here as retriever okay so as retrieve work a retriever now uh after doing this one so this is what is my retriever now if i'm going to be asked anything uh anything basically related to this particular document i'll be getting the similar document so here let's say if i'm going to be asked uh something related to the document invo now here let's say if i'm going to be asked about this slides okay nike slides or nike centers definitely i will be getting the relevant document with respect to that so let's see let me run it and you will be getting it now the next thing is what so see guys i'm getting a detail i'm getting a three by default document okay so this first one is the most relevant one now the next thing what i have to do here so here actually i have to create a chain so the very first thing i'm going to load this runnable lambda and this runnable pass through now the second thing is what so here actually i'm going to load the model okay so model wise guys i required this jimny pro wizard over here now a jimny pro vision and this is going to be my llm vision okay this is what this is my vision model what it guys i think till here everything is fine now we are going to be concluded just wait just wait for two minutes so llm vision is there okay this is fine now the next thing is what we are going to be create a prompt so here this is what this is my prompt template we are getting a we are passing the context the information right context and here is what here is my information okay wait guys so this is my prompt let me pass it over here this is my problem provide brief information and store location so <clears throat> this context and here is what here is my information and then based on that we are going to generate out so this is going to be why from template okay now what i will do so here i am going to be create a template so let me take it from the lecture itself and here is what guys here is my prompt template now what i will do guys so here actually i am going to create my chain rag chain so how we can create a rag chain for the multi modeling now this is the main question over here so here if you want to create a chain for the multi modeling so let me show you so first guys what i'm going to do here i'm going to be create a simple chain right so here is what here is my retriever with that actually i will be getting the context information means nothing it's my it's my prompt it's my query so simply i can write the query instead of the information means which i will be getting on the runtime okay so here i'll be getting on my runtime so this is what this is my query llm text so here uh this is my vision model now let me load my llm text model as well so here what i'm going to do i'm going to be load my llm text model so here is what here is my llm text and if i'm going to remove this one so this is what this is my model now first of all i'm going to show you this thing by using this llm text so this is what this is my rag chain now i'm going to be invoke this rag chain so here guys if i want to invoke guys uh let me run it and let me show you the output so i can ask anything related to the handle so can you give me a detail can you give me a detail of nike sandal something like that okay whatever you can write so this is what this is my question now i can wrap up and here you can see i'm getting the result it's saying input to temporary missing information i think i need to run it okay this one is this one fine and uh, this one is this okay great so now i will be getting my result and here is what here is my final result so let me check it the final result or let me display this final result by using this a particular display so here guys you can see i am getting my final result 
so nike bensai soleport sandal feature so this is all the feature because here actually i have defined the uh please brief information and store location so here i have defined the template and according to that actually you can see uh, i am getting the answer right so can you give me a detail of the nike sandal so it is fetching the information it is keeping over here and here is what here is the context okay and this is what this is the detail and all everything i am getting over here according to my requirement now if i want to include the image over here so how we going to do it let me show you that part so if we want to include the image so for the image guys just a second what i can do so first of all guys i will have to create the full chain so here guys this is what this is my full chain runnable pass through runnable pass through we use for passing the runtime query so if we want to pass the runtime query for that we use this runnable pass through now here is what here is my model llm wizard here is my output parser and here is my previous chain red chain guys this one this one see here this one now here let me keep this particular chain red chain and this is my red chain and along with that what i'm passing i'm passing output parser i'm passing my wizard model specifically for the images for decoding the images and here is what here is my runnable pass through now this is my full chain and now what i'm going to do now i'm going to be invoking so guys if i want to invoke hi how i can do it so for that uh just a second first of all let me show you the image related to which image actually i won't get the information so here is my image guys so i kept a few urls and all so in that uh, let me show you the uh, url so this is the url with that actually i want to get a detail right this is what this is my url so let me give the url one now here is what here is my url now i'm passing this particular url to what to the method so here is what here is my url one nike three png so i'm running it guys and finally i'm going to be show the output so here is what here is my output now see guys this is what this is my output and now i want a detail with respect to this image i'm passing my query image and then i will be providing the final output so this is not for the educational domain or for any other domain or for banking domain it is applicable for every domain guys wherever you have the images and with respect to that you have a description easily you can uh, implement this architecture and you can get your detail in a specific manner okay now what i'm doing here so here i am passing my uh, like images and all right so how we can do that so here is a human message completely human message and now what i'm going to do so here i'm going to be invoked okay now this is what this is my last step guys and here i can keep it inside this uh cell so let me keep this particular part and finally what i can do here i can show you so what i'm passing here i'm passing the text okay means what means my query and here i'm passing my image the image which i've loaded right so first of all uh let me do one thing uh let me remove this text part and let me show you if i'm not passing this part so what i'll be getting so here i'm going to remove this particular part okay and let's see what i'll be getting so this is my this is my message and this is my full chain right result i'm getting a result okay and uh, here finally i'll be getting my answer but uh, i think okay so here is what here's my result and finally this is what this is my detail so send a low it is not giving me a particular answer right it's not giving me a particular answer so you can see sandal retro sneaker it is providing answer with respect to everything but if i want the precise answer so let me make the changes over here and here i am passing the text as well provide the information on the given image brand or model of the given sneaker so provide information on the given sandal image right so sandal image so here i can write the sandal image sandal image brand and of the given speak a uh, given sneaker provide information on given sandal image brand and model of and model okay let me remove this sneaker because i already mentioned the image now see guys how precisely i will be getting my information see this is fine this is fine and uh, here after this one is going to generate the output so now you will be getting the output see guys here i was getting a, i am getting an image in a very very specific manner after passing the query node so query image 
and then with respect to this answer now you can make it more uh, informative you can uh, inside this vector store uh, you can uh, keep the different different image embedding and all you can match that you can make an embedding from here you can match it and based on that you can return the response right so this imp this kind of uh, reg implementation it is beneficial in every domain right? fine i hope you like this video thank you thank you for watching this video of, uh, and uh, definitely in the next video i will be come up with uh, like different solution different reg solution until thank you bye bye guys thank you bye bye and take care